So hello everyone. Uh, so today we're going to talk about how do we go about authenticating IMAP uh, using the modern OAuth. Uh, so we're going to do this uh, via Postman. So let me go ahead and share the screen. OK, so in order to do that, uh, first of all, uh, we'll need to go ahead uh, on portal.azure.com. Go to your Azure Active Directory and click on new registration. So as usual, we will need an Azure app registration. So I'm going to name this as IMAP sample. I'm going to click on register. OK, so once our app has been created, uh, I'll uh, go back to Postman and there are a few details that uh, we would need. OK, so you need to come here, uh, open Postman, click on new, come to authorization and select OR 2.0. So here the callback URL is Postman. So this is telling the Azure AD that uh, you need to send this token uh, to the Postman. So what you need to do is uh, go to the authentication section. Uh, click on add platform and uh, here you need to select web. Uh, paste the callback URL over here. All right. Once that is done, uh, you need to uh, go to the overview section. So if I go back to my app, here is the auth URL. So you can get the auth URL uh, from the endpoint section. The first, the first part, okay. So I'll paste the authorization uh, URL. Uh, then we have access token URL. Same thing, you need to go to the endpoint section and copy the access token URL. Then uh, I come here for the client ID. So the client ID here is this one. I'll copy and paste the client ID. Then I'll need a client secret, so I have to go to the certificate and secret section uh, to create a new secret. Um, I'll write a sample secret. All right, uh, so the secret has been created. I'll copy this value. Uh, and paste it over here and the scope. The scope required for IMAP, uh, if you are using uh, application permission, uh, you need to put it as outlook.office.com slash default. Uh, this is for client credential flow. OK. So let me change this to client credential flow. OK. And now I think we are ready to get the access token. So before I request for the access token, I need to go to the API permission section. Uh, click on add permission. Uh, select API my organization uses. Type in office. Here select office 365 exchange online. Select the application permission. OK, in this case we are uh, trying to demo the application permission, but for the delegated permission you need to select the this type. Uh, I'll show that uh, in in for the videos. Uh, let let we go ahead and add the IMAP permission. So if I write IMAP, I'll get permission related to IMAP. So I'll select this, I'll click on add permission. This permission gets added away here. So you also need to grant admin consent. So if I, I go ahead and grant the admin consent, we should be ready to call the uh, call the Azure AD to get the token for IMAP. OK, so I'll click on clear cookies and now I'll click on get access token. All right, looks like we got the access token. I'll copy this access token. And try to decode it uh, using uh, the JWT.MS. OK, so this is the token decoder site. So if I go ahead and check the scope. Yeah, so this is it. Uh, this tells us that this token is coming from audience outlook.office.com and this is uh, to this token can be used for IMAP. All right. Now this is what we have done for um, application permission. If I go ahead and uh, do the same thing for the delegated permission, uh, what I have to do is I'll have to click the add permission, select API my organization use, search for office, Exchange online a delegated permission type in IMAP.
Oh, if I have to go back and select Microsoft Graph, delegated permission, and I map here. Uh, my bad. So this thing you need to um, keep keep in mind that uh, for delegated permission, you need not select Office Exchange Online. You need to go in the Microsoft Graph. If I can show you again, uh, click on Add Permission, select Microsoft Graph, delegated permission, and uh, the IMAP permission should be there. There you go. IMAP access as user dot all. Uh, click on Add Permission. So this is the permission that you need. OK. I'll uh, replace the scope over here from default to this thing. IMAP dot access as user dot all. I'll change this to authorization code. I'll clear the cookies and try to get a new access token. Now this time since it is a delegated code flow, we would be asked to sign in. Uh, so I'll be going ahead and entering my credentials once the screen loads in. Um, it's taking time. I'll close it and try to uh, do it again. OK, there you go. So I'll type in my sandbox account uh, username and password. Uh, all right. I'll type in my password. All right, so the permission consent that is asking that read write access to your mail. I'll click on accept. Uh, we got the token successfully. I'll click on proceed. I'll click on use token and we can check this token again. I'll copy this. Uh, here's the JWT uh, decoder. So if I go ahead and uh, check. Right, so yeah, so it says the app sample is coming from uh, this particular app. And the audience is outlook.office.com, so you can use this. Uh, scope uh, if you see the scope user dot read IMAP access has user dot all, so you know this token is for IMAP. This is uh, done uh, using the delegated permission, so that's all for today. Uh, I think uh, we did the demonstration of um, the clan credential flow as well as the delegated flow uh, for IMAP using modern auth. So if you have any other questions related to this, uh, please feel free to uh, drop your comments in the chat and um, I'll try my best to help you. Thank you.